I have a few concerns about vaping in public spaces. For my, my patients, I think it's very important that they not see people vaping in public spaces because it normalizes this behavior. Um, the behavior is an unhealthy behavior, and it's very important for children not to be exposed to this, not just for the health risks, but for the fact that it's normalizing a behavior that is not healthy. Vaping really clearly leads to use of combustible cigarettes in the future, especially for young individuals. And I worry that if our young individuals do see people using these products, especially e-cigarettes, they'll look at them and think, well, they don't seem all that dangerous because they're allowed to use them in public spaces. They can't be as dangerous as those e -cig uh, as regular cigarettes. Um, and young individuals and patients may go on to be using these in the future. My other big concern about e-cigarette use or vaped solutions is that we really don't know the exact amount of toxins and dangerous chemicals in the secondhand smoke exposure to our patients and our children. A big concern of mine is for my patients. My patients can be exposed to these chemicals and have exacerbations of their disease. Patients with asthma, cystic fibrosis, chronic lung disease, it doesn't take much for them to inhale an irritant and then end up in the hospital or end up with an exacerbation of their disease. I'd like to clear up some misconceptions about this ban. It's not a ban on vaping. It's a ban on vaping in public places where combustible cigarettes or traditional cigarettes are already banned. So it continues to protect our populations, even the most vulnerable populations of patients with lung disease, so that they can be protected against irritants that could make their disease a whole lot worse. I've made my plea to the Allegheny County Council to support this piece of legislation banning e-cigarette use in public places. I'd ask you to consider also making a plea to the Allegheny County Council in support of this ban so that we can continue to have Allegheny County a place that's healthy for all of our individuals, especially the patient population that we serve.